In this video, I'll discuss the second stage of the case illustration, an exploratory literature review exploring the literature on interfaith dialogue. The second stage was to review and rationalize the first stage of the literature review. I came back to my project several months after writing the first draft in order to continue adding resources and use the project to help prepare myself for my comprehensive exams. When I opened the project several months later, I realized that I could not get back into my original thinking simply by reviewing the project because the project was not well organized and I had not added code definitions to any codes during the first steps of my analytic process. So, at this point, I needed to review and refine the coding and the coding scheme in the project as a whole. To do this, I retrieved all the coded quotations for each code in the first stage and, based on this, defined the codes in the comment field. To do that, I opened the code manager, selected a code, double-clicked, I then double-clicked on the quotations, and I read through each quotation that had been coded with that specific code. If you double-click each one, it'll bring each one up in your project. Based on this, I then went back into the code manager and in the comment section, typed in a definition of that specific code. The first step was to add the date, which you can do by pressing Control D, and then type in the definition. So for example, I have the code ambiguity, which is in the category of adult learning theory, defined as ambiguity, as opposed to ambivalence, is the nature of having more than one meeting. I also added a quote from some relevant literature to help add more substance to this specific code definition. During this process, any codes that I had identified as repetitive or linked to the same concept were merged. Most of the code name prefixes that I created in step 2b of this project remained the same. One change was that I changed the category of aims to the prefix of purpose, which if I scroll down you can see here. This resulted in a list of 139 codes in this portion of the actual project. Next, in 4b, I reviewed and refined the broad subject areas covered by my literature resources. To do that, I opened the document manager and looked at my document groups. So if you remember in my video for stage one of this process, I said that originally I had nine document groups. These were then, in this phase, taken down to five. So some document groups I deleted, some I renamed, and I did this by selecting the document group, right-clicking and renaming it, and then clicking and holding, dragging the document itself over into the groups function, like I showed you in the first video. Phase 4C was to then reflect on the literature and coding that I had done so far. While working through step 4A, I appended the document comments created in 2A with additional insights about each electronic resource. In this phase, I added more to the analytic memos that I had created in 2C concerning areas of discord or disconnect that I was seeing. Specifically, this led to two additional analytic memos to capture insights relating to tolerance and a communicative learning. If we open the memo manager, we can see these memos. We have a memo on tolerance here, which is dated, and then a memo on communicative learning was also created but in this project was deleted and then merged with a memo on transformative learning and communicative learning. 